we are headed out to try some beans. I got the bean head on the back of the service truck. Fingers crossed that uh, they will cut today. Um, we don't have, I don't know, I guess we have about 700 acres that are about at the same spot, but for some reason there's like 30 of those acres that are just um, a little bit further along. So we're gonna go try them out. Dad's getting antsy. A couple other guys have already started, so we're just gonna go for it. All right, so this is going to be the field we're going to. There's still some green out there, but people that have already started cutting say that it's not really affecting it too much. Still a little chewy on that one. Ooh, that one's nice and crunchy. Right. Just gonna pop these in. They're definitely crunchy and dry. Okay, so we just cut a little strip right there and we are going to see um, what they test um, to make sure they're not too wet because then we would get docked at the elevator, so that's no good either. I guess I'm supposed to actually drive out there. Okay, so just waiting for the little moisture, te oh, shoot. The moisture tester to turn on because we had it unplugged um, until we were ready to start using it. Uh, yeah, so my dad got a sample in his hat. Oh, this is what it looks like. So there is some green. We got some, still some green beans. We got some butter beans in there. Um, but hopefully the ones on top, um, the majority of them are dry enough that those will blend right in, at least for now. This is taking forever. Huh. And I guess while I'm getting ready to test this, my dad is getting the cart out. Okay, so let's go ahead. We got it selected for soybeans. Okay, got enough in there. So these are gonna go down and keep going to test. So the first sample tested 13.9, like I said, and then we tested uh, the other half, and that was 13, shoot, that's all the way up, 13.5. So they're gonna go, um, and then they, even if they're a little bit on the wet side, by the time we get everything up there and ready actually to go-go, um, we 
they should be good. So, do I have anything in here? No. I have no snacks, no drinks, uh, nothing of importance. That's how it always seems to go. Okay, so now the game plan is dad brought the service truck back up here. I obviously had the cart. He's back in the combine. Um, we're just going to take off um, some of the ends first. That way we have a spot to park the trucks because this ditch is too steep to really park on the edge like, unless it's like a, just a super wet year and we have no other choice. Um, but this like, thing is not a busy town, obviously. It's like got maybe 400 people, but um, it's right next to the intersection. So that just, it's people are not, they don't pay attention. So it's just easier to pull the trucks in the field here. Um, so once we get some of that, in taken off, Dad and I will go back, um, get a truck, I'll take it back, get another truck. Um, yeah, and that should be the plan. I'll probably stop acting, stop, then look the first time. Probably should have tried it before now. All right, so dad just headed out with the first truck and then I've got a bucket um, and a shovel just to keep on the um, cart because if you have a shovel, you won't need it. And if you don't have one, you will mess up. So dad is just leaving the field with that truck. He wanted to um, take it to the elevator himself. Um, well, and also we're the only two people here right now. Uh, just to make sure that what they test for moisture like is the same or similar to what our moisture tester tested, um, which the elevator uh, uses the same moisture tester that we do and is the same as what his monitor is saying. So. Just have to let the combine cool down for a little bit before shut it off completely. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I also grabbed him some drinks. I need to put them open. Oh, he does have stuff in there. So he's actually got a fridge in there. It keeps things nice and cold when the combine is running. He's running that up to the elevator. I'm going to take the pickup and the pickup, there it is, and run back to the shop because I forgot a phone charger. Did not charge my phone last night. Found it. I knew I let one of the guys, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's not shut. Close enough. Uh, I think I let Sam borrow it when he was driving trucks one day. I have like several of these and they always disappear. I think that my dad takes them, not realizing that it's like the Bluetooth radio charger. Okay. <sighs> I feel like I should probably grab some more snacks and drinks too, but oh well. Oh, I did forget one other thing. My plug-in for my computer that you plug into the cigarette lighter thingy. Okay, got that thing and then a few more books because um, I didn't want my dad to judge me for how many books I was carrying into the cart. So I think I took it in four or five, grabbed another three, four, I have another one in the truck still. So <sighs> now we are good to go. We have everything because Beans is the best place to get books read and any computer work done. All right, now back to the field.
if you look at these, like there's some spots like right here where it's just a lot greener than like we would really prefer. But I mean, the rest of the field is pretty dry. There's a lot of dry spots. So areas like that just kind of blend right in. So might be testing like 18, 19%, whereas like over here might be testing 10, 11. So it works out in the end. Obviously those numbers are made up. I have no idea if that's actually what it is, but these are nice and crunchy. So those are definitely dry. The only place that is definitely way more green is at the very end, that end row against the neighbor's beans because those beans are still very green. Um, so it kind of slowed our beans down right next to it, but we're just gonna take those off a little bit at a time and blend them into the really dry beans. Got, oh my nose. Just a weird shadow, I guess. Uh, Dad took that truck to town again. I turned the combine off after it cooled off a minute. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go back to my tractor and I don't know, do some computer work, read. Things should run smoother tomorrow um, once we have someone here to run trucks for us. Cause this is definitely not sustainable, but sustainable, I can't speak. Um, but we weren't exactly like planning on starting today, but we decided to, and then no one wants to be the a-hole that calls people in at the last minute on a Friday, so. And there goes dad with the last truck of the night headed to the elevator. Ooh, open the door so it's not as hot. Everyone is like rushing to the elevator. So you can see there they are. Um, because they close at seven and it is currently 6.49. Um, so everyone trying to get that last truck in there so they have trucks empty to load um to keep going as late as they can tonight uh, to deliver in the morning I didn't realize it, I guess, that the beans were testing a lot wetter once we got past that first 40 acre um, square and that it's like a 40 and then an 80. Um, so once we got past that 40, they were way wetter. So um, we just quit, pulled it in for the night. Probably not gonna, well, I know we're not gonna do anything tomorrow. Um, also, please excuse the fact that all the beans came out of the auger when I folded it. Again, I did not know we were quitting when I loaded that last truck, so I didn't, I don't empty it out all the way, you know, um, really make sure it's cleaned out unless I know that we're like, that's it for the night. So I don't normally do that. That was embarrassing, but yeah, all in all, not a bad, uh, first day, got a little over 40 acres cut and can't complain about the yields or the moisture until we got into the 80, but looking forward to, I mean, I guess it's what, Friday. So gonna start Sunday or Monday. Thank you guys for watching.